Hi, welcome to Easy Learning with Poonam Jain. In today's video, we are going to start with a new topic that is decimals. In this video, we will learn what is decimal, its pictorial representation and how is it represented on the place value chart. First of all, let's understand what is decimal. Decimal hota kya hai? Pehle hum po samajhte hai. Decimal is a way to represent the fractional numbers. Here, the whole number and the fractional number is separated by a dot which is called decimal. Jo dot whole number or fractional number ko separate karta hai, alag alag karta hai, us dot ko decimal bolte hai. The number which comes before the decimal point is the whole number and the number which comes after the decimal point is the fractional number. And these fractional numbers have the denominators like 10, 100, 1000, etc. Let's understand it with the help of examples. In this picture, I have taken a square and I have divided it into 10 equal parts. Each of its part is called 1 tenth of the square and we can write it as 0.1 also. This point is called decimal. Now if I shade two parts of the square that means I have shaded two tenths of the square which can be written as 0.2. Similarly if I shade five parts of the square it means I have colored five tenths of the square which can be written as 0.5. So, one tenth can be written as 0.1, two tenths can be written as 0.2, five tenths can be written as 0.5 and so on. Now, if I further divide each one tenth into 10 equal parts, now the square is divided into 100 equal parts. And it's each part will be written as 1 hundredth. And in decimal form, we can write it as 0 0.01. If I shade two parts of the square, that means I have shaded two hundredths of the square. And which can be written as 0 0.02 in decimal form. Now, if I shade five parts of it, it will be written as 5 hundredth, which is equal to 0 0.05. So, 100 or 1 by 100 can be written as 0 0.01. 2 by 100 or 2 hundredths can be written as 0 0.02. 5 by 100 or 5 hundredths can be written as 0 0.05. Now, if I shade 12 parts of it, it will be written as 12 hundredths and in decimal form, we will write it as 0 0.12. Now, suppose I have three such squares. Out of them, two are completely shaded and in third square, three tenths and four more parts are shaded. And how will we write the fraction? We will write it as 234 by 100 and it will be written as 2.34 in decimal form. Now, let's understand decimal in the place value chart. This is ones place, this is tens place and this is hundreds place. We can write it as ones, tens and hundreds. Now you can see that as we move to the left of the numbers, the value of the digit increases 10 times. Jaise jaise hum left ki aur jate hai place value chart mein, digit ki value 10 times bad jati hai. Like 1 multiplied by 10 is 10, then 10 multiplied by 10 is 100. So, 10 times value increase hoti hai jaise jaise hum left ki taraf jate hai. Similarly, as we move from left to right in the place value chart, the value decreases 10 times. Jaise jaise hum left se right ki taraf place value chart mein hum move karte hai, to value 10 times decrease hoti jati hai, kam hoti jati hai. Like 100 divided by 10 is 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1. Now what will happen if we move further towards right? Agar hum yaha se aur right ki taraf move karte hai, to value aur 10 times decrease hogi. That means it will be 1 by 10. Aur agar hum right ki taraf move karenge, it will decrease further 10 times. 
that means it will be 1 by 100. Now, how will it be represented in the place value chart? These are represented by capital letters, but fractional numbers are represented by small letters. So, for tens, we will write small t. For hundreds, we will write small h. And how will we separate them? We will place a decimal here. हम यहाँ एक decimal place करेंगे. The numbers present in the left of the decimal or before the decimal are the whole numbers and the numbers which come after the decimal or which are towards the right of the decimal are the fractional numbers. For example, let's take, if we write it in the expanded form, it will be written as 4 multiplied by 100 plus 3 multiplied by 10 plus 4 multiplied by 1 plus 5 upon 10 plus 6 upon 100. Now let's place it into the place value chart. 4 hundreds, so we will place 4 here. 3 tens, so we will place 3 here. 4 ones, so we will place 4 under ones. Now 5 tens. We will write small t and 600, we will write small h here. So, 5 will come under tens, 5 tens and 600 and we can also write it as 4 hundreds, 3 tens, 4 ones and here 5 and 6. We can separate this whole number and the fractional numbers by decimal. This means 434 and 56 hundreds and in decimal form we will say 434.56 children the numbers which come after decimal or which are the fractional numbers in decimal like this is called 434 point decimal is called 434.56 let's take another example of 609 500 now if we write it in the expanded form it will be 6 multiplied by 100 plus 9 multiplied by 1 plus 5 upon 100 or 500 now let's place it into the place value chart 6 will come under hundreds, write 0 under tens and write 9 under ones. Now, 5 hundreds will be written like this. Nothing is under tens, so we will put 0 here. Now, let's write it into the decimal form. 609 is the whole number. Now, we will put decimal and then 0 and 5. And we will say 609.05. So children, that's all for today. Thank you so much.